How we doing, all right? Are, are you having fun? Am I telling too many stories, not enough stories? Notice how stories, if I just got up and said facts, this would be boring. It probably is boring right now, but when you tell stories, it's how we understand things. The mind works in story. And so you make a point, you tell a story, you make a point. You make a point, you tell a metaphor, you make a point. As a leader, always have that story. The right stories, we were talking about artificial intelligence earlier and the importance of artificial intelligence. And um, I just read a book on a guy who's, who's a psychoanal uh, psychoanalyst who's uh, studying artificial intelligence. He says, well, the first thing we have to ask is what is intelligence? And he starts breaking it apart. He says, I can get a waitress, a robot waitress, to bring you a menu, have you pick the food, select the food, bring back the food on the table the way you wanted it, and throw it on the table and thinks they did the right job, when in fact you're offended. He says, there's nuance in the story. There's subtlety in story. It's how the mind understands something. And I've defined, and I'll talk about it in my new book, brilliance lies in having the right story at the right, right moment, at the right time for the right person. Because then you can help them understand themselves at a higher level and maybe let go of something that's not serving them in the moment. And I do it all day long. Would you agree with that? All day long, because that's my job. So I've had a lot of practice at it. But as leaders, practice the story. Have a reason why, the why behind the what. And their minds will start to hear you. Meaning is about connection. Anytime you make a connection, you can find meaning. If, if you don't care about wine, it's red, it's white, you don't care. There's no connection to anything. And the more you care about it, the more it has meaning. And the more meaning it has, the more you can attach to the idea. The more meaningful it is to you. Right? Neurologically, biologically, physiologically, emotionally, and socially. We need meaning. We need connection. All of us need connection to find meaning. If your nerves don't connect with each other, you have a form of dementia in your mind. They have to connect to find meaning. And with people, we have to connect to find meaning. People you don't care about, you don't know anything about. You don't care that you don't know. Not all of them, but a lot of them. So a story is just a tool that we use to help the mind make a connection. You want to do a quick exercise? 15 seconds, really tough. Really difficult. You ready? We'll do this together. How we need meaning to make connection. Or we need connection, I'm sorry, to find meaning. We use a story to do it. Scrambled eggs, ham, and bacon walk into a bar. They ask the bartender for a drink. He refuses to serve them. When they say, why? He said, it's simple. We don't serve breakfast here. Now, a bad joke at best. <laughs> but I said, this is going to be tough. 15 seconds, you went, you're not losing me. Or you went, oh boy, I don't know if I can do this. Depending on the story, you tell yourself, you are. Right? And then I said, what did I say, ham? Scrambled yeah, ham and yeah. bacon or something. A little healthy breakfast. And I said, scrambled And you went like, you immediately, breakfast, I'm okay. And I said, walks. And you went, blip. And then I said, into a bar. Then you went, okay, into walks into. Oh, anything that walks into a bar is a setup for a cliche joke. I'm okay. Then I hurried through the rest of the joke. Well, we would have lost connection. And then the punchline wasn't really a funny punchline. It's a cliche that ties whose word, your word or my word, your word, breakfast, to the end of the joke. We need to make connection to find meaning. Stories help us make connections. They're the device that help us make the connection. And we don't use them enough as leaders. Facts and figures, that should be enough. We need the story.